Now, when I talk to a lot of people about high selenium yeast and selenized yeast, and it seems like a common or frequently asked question is this. They, uh, they, the question is, is, what about candida? What about people that worry about candida, the yeast infection candida? Is high selenium yeast a, a problem that can cause candida? Well, first, we would have to make sure everybody knows what candida is. Candida is a pathogenic yeast organism. Uh, if we were to speak in, in a comparison to bacteria, uh, lactobacillus would be a very positive bacteria that we're all familiar with in our diet, but E. coli would be a very negative bacteria. Uh, candida is a pathogenic yeast organism. Uh, nutritional yeast like Saccharomyces cerevisiae or baker's yeast are nutritional yeast products. And yes, we have taken standard baker's yeast fermentation that we're all familiar with in making our bread products and we have fed selenium to the yeast and it has organically bound it, uh, the selenium, into its protein structure. The difference is, is that, first of all, it's not a pathogenic a harmful yeast organism, it's a nutritional yeast organism. Uh, the second thing is, is that it is, we kill the product. We kill the yeast. It is inactive, uh, we pasteurize it, and then we spray dry the product. So it has no activity, and it is a dead yeast, and is deemed a nutritional yeast. And is really not even in, it's not even in the same category as a pathogenic yeast organism like Candida. Mm -hmm. So basically it would be a misunderstanding if anybody ever felt that high selenium yeast or the Saccharom Saccharomyces cerevisiae had any effect at all on, on Candida because it's really not, in not infectious. That is correct. And, and actually if left in its active state, uh, nutritional yeast compete with other yeast. And, and so it would actually uh, destroy a Candida type product. But because it's inactive, it has no biological role and cannot be attributed to uh, the promotion or the sustaining of candida. So yes, it, it is a clear misunderstanding that just because they both are yeast products, mm -hmm. much like E. coli and lactobacillus are both bacteria, uh, candida and nutritional yeast are both yeast, but they're clearly different uh, functions and different yeah. pathways. So it, w it would be a clear misunderstanding to associate a nutritional yeast product with a pathogenic organism like Candida.